coming from and all that I live for and all that I'm going to be my precious family is more man and the shepherds down on their knees bringing their treasures to lay at his feet who was this wonder baby yet king living and dying he gave life to me Jesus is more than an heirloom to me. Good morning and Merry Christmas to you. Jesus came to save people of every nation, and today we celebrate the mysterious visitors from far distant lands who came seeking the Christ child in our own different ways. We are all on a journey, all searching, all in need of God. Please stand as we praise and give glory to our infant King. God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us. Comfort and joy, oh, tidings of 
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. Our Christmas season continues, and today we celebrate the great feast of the Epiphany, the revelation of God to all the world, and especially to us. For a moment, let us ask God's forgiveness for our sins. Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, in you we find patience and kindness and mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, in your spirit we find new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we, who know you already by faith, may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you, the Lord shines and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light 
and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons came from afar and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow. For the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you. Drama dromedaries from Midian and Epha, all from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit. 
namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn King of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea. For thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people, Israel. Then Herod turned, called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that had been seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house they saw the child with Mary his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph were in their house of prayer. Well, I shall say it's probably not their real home, but it was a stable for the animals. But for them, at this moment of Jesus' birth and the days after, it worked. They prayed for their child, for their family, and for their friends who were not with them. And then suddenly they noticed that their house kind of grew, expanded. The angels appeared as messengers from God to affirm this event. Then the shepherds came from the fields. And of course, today we celebrate that the three kings also appeared. When the Christ presence arrived in our world, it exploded in size all that was happening in their home and in this world is it was a moment of God's love that was no small stable could hold. So this past year, we have been building our own house of prayer. Probably each of you have been, done it in a little different way. Some of you may have prayed in your home, 
in your room, with your family gathered, maybe in front of the TV or before the computer. Some of you chose to pray here in church, but probably all of us somehow in our minds and hearts, wherever we were, those were moments of great prayer. We discovered that it was not, that God was not just in one place, but that somehow our image of the presence of God has grown. We begin to discover now, certainly, that God is everywhere. And so as we kept praying, our, our, our own houses got bigger. We kept praying, and probably our hearts have grown because we prayed for those who normally couldn't come and visit, who couldn't be with us. Our hearts had to open in a new way for them. For those who were isolated by the COVID or by the quarantines, we prayed for them. For those who were struggling to survive or who had to serve in the midst of this, the healthcare workers, the poor, and the lonely, we kept praying for all of them. And we discovered there, there is only one house. That house is everybody's home. Our prayer invites others, everyone, the poor probably represented by the shepherds, the holy ones that we know, the angels in our world. And by the rich and the powerful, the kings, we pray for them too. They all feel welcome because we live together in a world that is soaked by the love of Christ that has entered our place. We see Christ in all creation. We see Christ especially in each person. But living in this one home, as we begin to realize, there are those who don't quite understand that way of looking at reality. Some people's houses probably are still pretty small. And in a sense, maybe some of ours still are too. Sometimes we find that we are captivated by a sport, by a political party, by an activity, by a fantasy world maybe that we have found in watching lots of movies and TV. These are ways that, in many ways, they offer some goodness to us through this time. But if they become our only focus, our house becomes pretty small. Our house of prayer has become much bigger. Our theology and our lives come together in this one place. And we live in a house of prayer that has become a home with values of Christ, of a Christ-centered life. Our God, Christ, loves life and never stops creating it. We will love and create and ma maintain life in all of its ages. Our God, as we know, is patient and kind, an enduring love always. We will seek and trust love in all its humanizing forms. Our God loves the variety of multiple features, faces, forms present in our world. We will not be afraid of the other, the one who is not like me, the stranger at the gate. God loves and is beauty in our world. So in our house, our home of prayer, we learn and know this God's, God presence and we see God's beautiful ways that, is, that surround us each day. This maintains our faith and keeps our journey on track. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, 
light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Gathered here, we share a living tradition, a glorious promise, for the light of Christ continues to shine for all peoples. Let us pray for men and women of all languages, races, and cultures. Our response will be, Light of Christ, hear our prayer. That God's holy people, the Church, may lovingly invite all to come and be heirs with us as members of the one body of Christ, we pray. Light, Light of, of Christ, Christ, hear our prayer. That hearts may be transformed from hatred to love, so that all nations may walk in God's light, free from war and violence. All rulers pay him homage, serving him in justice and peace, we pray. Light of Christ, hear our prayer. That in this new year, our government leaders may bring renewed hope to the many who are unemployed, food insecure, homeless, or threatened with homelessness, we pray. Light, Light of Christ, Christ, hear our prayer. That the vaccination process may proceed in every state as orderly and as peacefully as possible, we pray. Light of Christ, hear our prayer. That our service men and women, our first responders, and our medical personnel and essential workers may be covered with safety, and the seriously ill in our parish community and among our family members and friends be gifted with love's comfort and the healing touch of God, we pray. Light of Christ, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of Jean Prunty, Celie and Tom Jurgens, Clarence Prunty, and Daryl and Terry Evers, for whom this Mass is offered today, and for Easter's glorious promise to bring our beloved dead to the everlasting embrace of God's peace and love, especially Barbara Berry, we pray. Light Christ, Christ our light, hear yeah. our prayer. Almighty God and Father, your Son is light from light, your glowing sign to all nations. As we pray for the peoples of your world, help us to strengthen the bonds of unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands. hands for the praise, praise and glory, glory of his name, for our, our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these gifts of your church, in which are offered now not gold or frankincense or myrrh, 
but he who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed, and received, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God, who loves the human race and who always walks with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst, when we are gathered by his love. And when as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, renew your church by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the bond of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people, together with Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, 
that in a world torn by a pandemic, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the apostles and martyrs and all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We pray for the coming of God's kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and, and the glory are yours, yours now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Please offer to one another a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray a prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. What 
Let us pray. Go before us with heavenly light, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass has ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.